Hello, and welcome to Meditating the Word. I'm so glad you've joined us on our journey through the Bible in a year. If you'd like a roadmap of where we've been and where we're going, you can download a copy of the reading plan from blueletterbible.com. You'll find a link in the notes. The translation I'm reading from is the World English Bible, but feel free to follow along in your favorite translation. If you haven't subscribed to this podcast yet, why not do that now? Just click on subscribe so you don't miss any episodes. This is day 131. Today we're reading 2 Samuel 10, 1 Chronicles 19, and Psalm 20. Let's get started. The Second Book of Samuel, Chapter 10 After this, the king of the children of Ammon died, and Hanan his son reigned in his place. David said, I will show kindness to Hanan, the son of Nahash, as his father showed kindness to me. So David sent by his servants to comfort him concerning his father. David's servants came into the land of the children of Ammon. But the princes of the children of Ammon said to Hanan their lord, Do you think that David honors your father, in that he has sent comforters to you? Hasn't David sent his servants to you to search the city, to spy it out, and to overthrow it? So Hanan took David's servants, shaved off one half of their beards, and cut off their garments in the middle, even to their buttocks, and sent them away. When they told David this, he sent to meet them, for the men were greatly ashamed. The king said, Wait at Jericho until your beards have grown and then return. When the children of Ammon saw that they had become odious to David, the children of Ammon sent and hired the Syrians of Beth Rehob and the Syrians of Zobah, 20,000 footmen, and to the king of Maacah with 1,000 men, and the men of Tob, 12,000 men. When David heard of it, he sent Joab, and all the army of the mighty men. The children of Ammon came out and put the battle in array at the entrance of the gate. The Syrians of Zobah and of Rehob and the men of Tob and Ma'akah were by themselves in the field. Now when Joab saw that the battle was set against him before him and behind, he chose of all the choice men of Israel and put them in array against the Assyrians. The rest of the people he committed into the hand of Abishai, his brother, and he put them in array against the children of Ammon. He said, If the Syrians are too strong for me, then you shall help me. But if the children of Ammon are too strong for you, then I will come and help you. Be courageous, and let's be strong for our people and for the cities of our God, and may the Lord do what seems good to him. So Joab and the people who were with him came near to the battle against the Syrians, and they fled before him. When the children of Ammon saw that the Syrians had fled, they likewise fled before Abishai and entered into the city. Then Joab returned from the children of Ammon and came to Jerusalem. When the Syrians saw that they were defeated by Israel, they gathered themselves together. Hadadezer sent and brought out the Syrians, who were beyond the river, and they came to Helam, with Shobach, the captain of the army of Hadadezer, at their head. David was told that, and he gathered all Israel together, passed over the Jordan, and came to Helam. The Syrians set themselves in array against David and fought with him. The Syrians fled before Israel, and David killed seven hundred charioteers of the Syrians and forty thousand horsemen, and struck Shobak, the captain of their army, so that he died there. When all the kings, who were servants to Hadadezer, saw that they were defeated before Israel, they made peace with Israel and served them. 
so the Syrians were afraid to help the children of Ammon any more. The First Book of Chronicles, Chapter 19 After this, Nahash, the king of the children of Ammon, died, and his son reigned in his place. David said, I will show kindness to Hanun, the son of Nahash, because his father showed kindness to me. So David sent messengers to comfort him concerning his father. David's servants came into the land of the children of Ammon to Hanun to comfort him. But the princes of the children of Ammon said to Hanun, Do you think that David honors your father in that he has sent comforters to you? Haven't his servants come to you to search, to overthrow, and to spy out the land? So Hanun took David's servants, shaved them, and cut off their garments in the middle at their buttocks, and sent them away. Then some people went and told David how the men were treated. He sent to meet them, for the men were greatly humiliated. The king said, Stay at Jericho until your beards have grown, and then return. When the children of Ammon saw that they had made themselves odious to David, Hanun and the children of Ammon sent one thousand talents of silver to hire chariots and horsemen out of Mesopotamia, out of the Aram Ma'aka, and out of Zobah. So they hired for themselves thirty-two thousand chariots, and the king of Ma'aka with his people, who came and encamped near Medaba. The children of Ammon gathered themselves together from their cities and came to battle. When David heard of it, he sent Joab with all the army of the mighty men. The children of Ammon came out and put the battle in array at the gate of the city, and the kings who had come were by themselves in the field. Now when Joab saw that the battle was set against him before and behind, he chose some of all the choice men of Israel and put them in array against the Syrians. The rest of the people he committed into the hand of Abishai, his brother, and they put themselves in array against the children of Ammon. He said, If the Syrians are too strong for me, then you are to help me. But if the children of Ammon are too strong for you, then I will help you. Be courageous. And let's be strong for our people and for the cities of our God. May the Lord do what seems good to him. So Joab and the people who were with him came near to the front of the Syrians to the battle, and they fled before him. When the children of Ammon saw that the Syrians had fled, they likewise fled before Abishai his brother and entered into the city. Then Joab Came to Jerusalem. When the Syrians saw that they were defeated by Israel, they sent messengers and called out the Syrians who were beyond the river, with Shophak, the captain of the army of Hadadezer, leading them. David was told that, so he gathered all Israel together, passed over the Jordan, came to them, and set the battle in array against them. So when David had put the battle in array against the Syrians, he fought with them. The Syrians fled before Israel, and David killed of the Syrian men seven thousand charioteers and forty thousand footmen, and also killed Shophak, the captain of the army. When the servants of Hadadezer saw that they were defeated by Israel, they made peace with David and served him. The Syrians would not help the children of Ammon any more. The Book of Psalms, Psalm 20, for the Chief Musician, a Psalm by David. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob set you on high, send you help from the sanctuary, grant you support from Zion. Remember all your offerings and accept your burned sacrifice, Selah. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your counsel. We will triumph in your salvation. In the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord grant 
all your requests. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from the holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are bowed down and fallen, but we rise up and stand upright. Save, O Lord. Let the king answer us when we call. Father God, what better prayer could we pray than that? Thank you for answering us when we experience trouble. Thank you for remembering us. You have granted us our heart's desire. We triumph over the enemy in your salvation. You grant all of our requests. Father, we don't trust in the things of this world. We trust in you alone, and in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You can find Meditating the Word on your favorite podcast platform on YouTube and on Facebook. If you're listening to this on one of the many podcast platforms, you'll find links in the notes to all of our other locations. It's my goal to encourage others to strengthen their Christian walk through daily reading God's Word. You can help by sharing this podcast and by rating and reviewing it. I want to thank you for joining me and know that I'm praying for you as we journey through the Bible together. Please pray for me and pray for each other. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.